Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly. If you are an ATS dancer or a belly dancer that likes to have a bit more coverage than just the bra top, chole tops are a great costuming option. It's great as a lesson wear as well. In this tutorial, I'll share with you how to make this cute chole top featuring the popular cold shoulder look. Let's get started! To make this ATS chole top, you need 1 meter or 1 yard of stretch fabric. I'm using 110 centimeters or 43 inches wide lightweight stretch velvet here, but you can use jersey knit, lace, any lightweight fabric with good stretch would do. Fitted shirt. This will be used as a pattern, four safety pins, and matching color thread. First, put on your pattern shirt and try not to stretch it down. And first mark where the underbust line is using a safety pin. And mark how deep the neckline should be. And mark an approximate height for the top of the sleeve since there's a cold shoulder opening here. And your preferred length for the sleeves. Once you mark these four points, take off your shirt and turn it inside out. Next, take your fabric and if you're using velvet like I am here, first check the directional requirement. All you have to do is run your hand against the fabric and find the direction that feels the smoothest. The smoothest top-down direction is the direction in which we should cut our panels here. With that in mind, fold your fabric right sides together and make sure the direction of stretch is perpendicular to the fold. Fold your shirt in half so that you can see the front opening. Place it against the fold of the fabric and fold the sleeves away so you can see the armhole curve well. And trace your shirt on the fabric. For the neckline, simply mark the depth of the neckline you marked on the fold of the fabric and just trace the shoulder seam, armhole, and side seam all the way to the underbust line. Draw a horizontal line at the underbust line and connect the point on the fold of the fabric and the beginning of the shoulder seam with the straight line. And add a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance all around except at the fold and cut along the outline. And that's the front panel. Next, fold the fabric again the same way so the direction of stretch is perpendicular to the fold and place the front side of the shirt again. And trace it the same way all the way to the underbust line and skip the neckline for now. Draw a horizontal line at the underbust line and draw a vertical line from the top of the shoulder seam to the underbust line. Then add a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance all around and cut along the outline. These are the back panels. Next, fold the fabric the same way again and align the fold of the sleeve to the fold of the fabric. So the seam on your shirt is on the other side. And for velvet, the direction of the fabric is top down this way. And trace the sleeve. The armhole part is a bit tricky, but just trace it as best as you can. Trace the sleeve up to your desired length. And mark the two points indicated by the safety pins on the fold. Then draw lines that are perpendicular to the fold from these points. And add a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance all around except for the fold. Cut along the outer line and repeat this to make two sleeve panels. From the leftover fabric, make two long strips that are 6 cm or 2 and 3 8 inches wide and use the entire width of the fabric for the length. If your fabric is 100 cm or 40 inches wide or so, make three strips. Alright, now you have all the pieces ready. Let's get sewing. Set your sewing machine to do a zigzag stitch so the finished trolley will be nice and stretchy. Also use a stretch needle so you'll have an easier time sewing and I'll be using a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance here. First, place your front and back panels right sides together and align the shoulder seams and do a zigzag stitch there. 
and take your sleeve pieces and fold one centimeter or three eighths of an inch from the straight edges towards the wrong side at the top of the panels and do a zigzag stitch. And try to catch the raw edge as you sew so the finished seam will look nice and clean. Next, open up the front and back panels and align the sleeve panel right sides together. The finished edge of the sleeve is facing outward. Match up the corners and the rest as best as you can. Try not to stretch the curved sections, just match them up here. Then do a zigzag stitch and repeat for the other sleeve. Fold everything right sides together and sew from the end of the sleeve to the side seam. Do this for both sides. At the neckline, fold 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch from the edges towards the wrong side and at the bottom of the v-neck, make a snip that's a little less than 1 cm so the fabric lays flat. And fold in the same way all the way to the bottom of the back panels. Similarly, fold the raw edges of the armholes and ends of the sleeves towards the wrong side. Do a zigzag stitch along all these places while catching the raw edges. Take one of the long strips. If you have three strips, first saw the two together, so you have one very long strip. Place it along the bottom end of the top right sides together and again, if you're using velvet, check the direction. The top edge of the strip should be matched up with the bottom end of the top. And here I lined up the seam of the strip at one of the side seams so it's not going to end up right in the front center. Match up the rest and do a zigzag stitch. Now the length of my strip is uneven at ends, so I trim down the longer side to match the shorter side. Then place everything right side down and fold the strip 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch from the edge and fold again so the fold just covers the stitches from earlier. Do this for the entire width of the top. For the rest of the strip, first fold the ends towards the wrong side, then fold 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch from the top and bottom edges and match up the folds. Keep folding for the rest of the strip. Then do a top stitch all the way along the folds. I used a narrower zigzag stitch for this top stitch so the stitches don't look as prominent. Finally, take the last strip, cut it in half, and fold each one in half right sides together. Stitch along the long edge. Turn it inside out and fold in one end of the strap 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch from the edge towards the wrong side and stitch along the fold so you've got a nice clean end. Do this for both straps and place the raw ends of the straps about 3 cm or 1 and a quarter inches from the shoulder seams on the wrong side of the back panels. Stitch them in place. And your ATS Choli top is complete! It's so simple and pretty easy to make. The cold shoulder sleeves are cute and sassy and you can adjust the fit with the ties at the back. Since it's so simple, you can add your own flair to it. You can use ribbon for the top two straps, make sleeve length long or short, scrunch the sleeves or center of the top. Be creative! Since we use lightweight stretch fabric, it's great for layering tops as well. Oh, and as I was working on this, I realized a piece of scrap velvet is great for cleaning those fluffy lints that come out of cutting velvet fabric. So give it a try! Hope you liked this Choli Top tutorial and if you did, please share this tutorial with your Dan sisters. I have a whole bunch of ATS style tutorials now, like this super popular 25 yard skirt or pantaloons. I'll include links in the description below. And if you're new to costume making but curious to give it a try, I have a free course for you. Check it out at sparklybelly.com slash free course. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!